Hello, uh, my name is Andre, and today I'm going to show the basics of the Telos API. Uh, Telos is a modern, immutable, secure from ground up operating system designed to run distributed workloads such as Kubernetes clusters. And uh, Telos doesn't have any kind of legacy ways to access uh, operating systems such as SSH or the shell itself. Uh, as Telos is immutable, it means that there is no good way to make changes to the running operating system. Um, all the changes are driven using the uh, operating system configuration. Uh, but still, if we want to see what's going on, we can use Talos API to access the node, see the runtime information, or, or debug some issue, or we can use the API to control the lifecycle of the node or to change the configuration of the node. Uh, let's take a look uh, into that more closely. First of all, I've got a Talos cluster consisting of three control plane nodes and one worker node running on my computer. Uh, it's running in virtual machines, and you can see that these virtual machines, they have IP addresses starting with 10.5.0.2 and going to .5. And as this cluster got provisioned, uh, there is also interesting file uh, which was generated automatically and contains um, necessary information to connect to the Telos API using the client. This file is located in .talos config, and we can take a look at this file. So it contains the name of the cluster and uh, also the endpoints which are going to be used to connect. So the Talos client is going to use client-side load balancing. And you can see that list of the endpoints contains all the control plane nodes. So the, all the requests are going to be load balanced across the nodes. And plus, if we one of the node goes down, uh, this will be handled, handled automatically and the access will be not, not interrupted to the other nodes. And also, there is a PKI information. Uh, Talos API is using mutual TLS. So there is a CA for the cluster itself so that client can verify the server side of the connection and also client side certificate and a key, uh, which is Telos API on the server side is going to verify to allow access to the Telos API. Uh, there is a CLI utility called Telos CTL, which is a default implementation of the protocol. Uh, and uh, we can use that, for example, to run this one of the simplest API commands to query the version. Uh, first, it prints the version of the client and next information coming back from the server. Uh, I'm running the latest alpha release, uh, the Go version used to build and the architecture of the node itself. Uh, we can take a look at uh, what is the architecture of the API. So API client, uh, in this case, it's my computer, is always talking to one of the control plane endpoints, sending requests to those. And the control plane endpoints are proxying these requests to the actual nodes, which can be the control plane nodes themselves or the worker nodes. So thinking about like network security, only the control plane node endpoint, API endpoints should be exposed either directly or using the load balancer. Uh, and this allows me to access all the nodes in the cluster. But there is something more to it. Uh, I can actually access multiple nodes with one API call. So let me try to add one more IP address to this command. And I can see that I've got now response, which contains information from two nodes, not a single one, so from dot two node and from dot three node. So Talos API transparently uh, is doing like fan out to send the request to multiple nodes to grab all the responses and send the responses back. Um, so this way I can control multiple nodes in one API command. 
let's look what else is available. Uh, for example, in the same command, I can ask for the kernel log message using the, the message command. And it is going me to send the information from both of the nodes simultaneously. Um, or I can even ask for, for the tail of the, the message, which is going to send me messages in real time from both nodes as they appear in the kernel log buffer. Uh, there are more APIs. For example, I can list information, uh, list the files in some directory for multiple nodes. Uh, you can see that responses are coming from two nodes at the same time. Uh, the listing itself is the same because Talos OS is immutable and this particular directory, uh, it can be written to during the uh, lifetime of the node. So all the nodes will contain the same contents. Uh, but of course, there might be uh, some directories which are writable where the Kubernetes is living. So we can see that these contents and we can go deep into these and, and so on and so forth. So we can use this to query. You can see that in this case, information from two nodes is different. We're looking into the network namespaces created on the node. Uh, by the CNI. Uh, what else can be done uh, using the API? As a like high level integration or high level demo of that, we can also can launch the dashboard. Uh, the interesting thing about the dashboard is that it's using multiple APIs in the same way to query information about the node resources, running processes, network, disk IO, and it shows that in this uh user interface and you can see that i have two nodes running and information is displayed for both of them but internally the api request is sent to one of the control plane endpoints then it goes out to multiple nodes and the combined result is returned back and rendered in this text ui thanks for watching